the OnePlus 11, a phone that hasn't been received that well when it comes to reviews, but for myself I kind of like it. It's a good device overall, it has pretty good sensors as well, and today we're gonna unlock the full potential of it, using of course the Pro Mode to capture shots differently. Because when it comes to OnePlus, there is one thing I don't like, and that's that filter effect on top of it. But with that being said, let's showcase what this device can properly do when you actually try. So let's go to a forest a little bit away from me to see what we can actually capture. Everything apart from shots that you see where the OnePlus 11 is featured on is captured on the OnePlus 11, including of course the trip itself. So right here, I'm seeing something that I like. If the trunk that moves, kind of looks like it's moving that way, but that one is different. That one, it's not the same, but it looks like it. You see, maybe I can get a good shot playing around with that. So here again, just trying to see if we can do when it goes to this top. I like, kind of like how it's above ground, but I also want to see what I can capture when it comes to that one. I couldn't really capture like they feel like one part because the phone doesn't have the same capabilities for that, but still. Alright, so I like it when you have some moss in the shot itself and greens compressing full up with wood. I really like that. So here again we have like a trunk just laying around. Of course it's fallen as you can see. So we could potentially get a really nice shot maybe connected to that tree which would also be really nice but see what we can get out of that shot. So here in this shot what I really like is this leaf right. It creates like a, a, a concave effect and it allows a little bit of a house feeling if that makes sense. What we can do is play around with that a little bit, like see how it casts shadows. Then again, following the trunk itself, just playing a little bit around with the angles. I think I like this shot. Alright, let's see if I focus the tree itself so right there focus on the tree might be able to make something out of that but we'll see I normally don't have preference for really bright colors and white shots but that could work again it's a tree that's fallen over but I wanted to see it from a different view See what I think about it. See if I somehow can get some light coming in. Now imagine this shot. The light for instance comes like that and just falls on that on that. That would be stunning. Also, at this angle, I could potentially do something as well. So here for instance, I'd be able to play a little bit uh, with those stones up there, the green, maybe a shot that direction as well. Because if I was connect to those two trees, but let's play around. The hardest part for me when it comes to nature photography is trying to find a way to separate parts. Because the forest is cluttered. 
you kind of want to create a shot where you have a, a part that is a focus instead of everything being a part of the focus it, it just doesn't work as well maybe the stairs here for instance i can make a focus point hmm. it's a little bit too much like that especially with the same capabilities of phones I'm not sure but we'll find out By the way, we have OnePlus, I will say, well, their auto mode necessarily isn't the greatest for me, because sometimes it has that really odd effect on top of it. Try using manual, it definitely helps in terms of better colors, in terms of less brightness and that hue effect over it that sometimes OnePlus has. Yeah, I think it's really good actually, so far. Gonna check on PC of course, but it's good to play around with the device. Now with this one, again we can play. The tree, yes, has fallen, but unlike the others, this has fallen somewhat, of course, higher from the ground. You can have a shot that looks up instead of down or straight. Not to mention, of course, I have mushrooms around it as well. So again, you can play around with it a little bit differently. All right, let me just hurry up because mosquitoes are biting me like there's no tomorrow. You get bloody lost mosquitoes. Maybe a little bit less eyes on. This tree has a very unique character to it compared to trees around it, apart from that one, but mostly a lot of smooth trees. So, potentially, you just play a little bit around with the angle of it to capture details, maybe a little bit of depth. Here, it's a potential shot as well. So we have this really nice contrasting leaf right here, it goes over some path. We have our tree right there, something that looks like a dog. I'll show you a picture now. Anyway, nice contrast. We can play around a little bit with the angle. Just get that nice contrast between the green, the sand, and of course the tree itself. So what I mean here. Just like for instance, a little bit close, tree in there. Yeah. Let's see if we can, a um, little bit closer, like so. So that was basically its flip. And uh, honestly, well, the OnePlus 
one isn't the best when it comes, in this case the 11, the best when it comes to auto mode. Manual mode, you can do quite a bit with it. It removes that hue that it has over it. That makes shots a lot better for me. And it has a little bit more contrast and everything like it. So I really do enjoy it. And of course, forest photography is somewhat new to me. So <laughs> let me know what you think. But I do enjoy it, especially because you're a little bit outside. It's calming, it's relaxing, having the birds around you and everything like that. The downsize is mosquitoes. And, well, they like to bite my legs. Yes, I know, as we call it in Dutch, to um, milk legs because they're so white. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the video. And of course, soon, hopefully going on vacation to Scotland and test it around a little bit and uh, see how other phones perform there. Hopefully the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, maybe, and the Sony Xperia 5, uh, 1 5 really love to test that one out anyway hope you enjoyed see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe